Hey guys, James Walker with turnkeyinvest.com. Proud to bring you another awesome property. This one's in Olive Branch, Mississippi, just a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee, in the state of Mississippi. Uh, for those of you that might not be too familiar, the southern border of the city of Memphis, Tennessee is the state of Mississippi. So don't be alarmed that I'm bringing you a property in DeSoto County. Some of the benefits to this area, um, they put a moratorium on multifamily development decades ago. So there's not a lot of apartments, uh, which makes single family homes extremely desirable. The school system is amazing when you compare it to the city of Memphis and what we have to offer here. And we do have alternatives in the city of Memphis that I've did, uh, dove into in previous videos. So uh, a lot of people are attracted to this area for you know simpler, a little bit quieter um, life. It's not in the bustling downtown of Memphis, Tennessee. But it has all the conveniences of all the restaurants, the concerts, you know, they can go downtown and watch a uh, basketball game with the Memphis Grizzlies when that reopens. So it's got a lot of benefits. I want to also take an opportunity to use this video as a first opportunity to introduce the new website to you. So we're really proud. We've been working really hard to bring you guys more of what you've asked for um, and to deliver all of the information we can to you guys uh, without you having to go multiple different sites to find all of this information. We wanna you know, bring the information I would want as an investor to one place so you can have a nice transparent look of what you're buying or just considering in one place. Uh, so the diligence vault is where most of that information is held. Many of you ask for the ability to be um, alerted when we add a new property to the site, that's a new feature. Many of you, um, did not like having to sign into the old site every time you came in. And this one, you will be able to have a username, account number. Uh, you can see in the top right up here where you can see my face. Well, that's because I'm signed in with my account automatically when I turn my computer on. So it should be the first time you sign in, you're logged in. Um, when you buy properties, you can now have the option to purchase more than one property at a time. Just like on Amazon, you fill your cart, go to your cart and check out. So for those of you who have bought multiple properties at one time, it was a little bit more tedious of a process where you had to fill out a form for each property. Now you could buy two or 10 properties all at once. One form, one fill out. So we're listening to you guys. I love feedback uh, from people who know what they're talking about. And that's usually uh, some of my best clients. Um, I take advice well when, you, when it's people that know what they're talking about. So. Right here, you have multiple ways to get to the houses. You can click on the button that says buy, right here where it says view property listings. Um, so it's easy to get to the properties. Sell, this is a new feature. So I have several investors who have come to me and for one reason or another, they're looking to sell rental property they bought two or five years ago or multiple properties. I had a client recently who was going through a divorce. They're out of the country. They wanted to sell all of their properties for that reason. Um, in his words, it was easier to sell them all and instead of figuring out who gets what property. Um, I've had people who sadly have lost a spouse and the spouse was really the one in charge of this. So they've come to me to sell their properties. I've had other people sell properties to reinvest into their small business, whatever the reason is. I wanna be the person who um, gives you all the tools you need. So if you ever want to sell your properties, my team has the pool of investors, the resources to make that happen and make it as easy on you as possible. Of course, manage our in-house property management team. This is where you get information there. Contact us. So I give you everything on this website that you, so you don't have to contact us. Some people are introverted. Some people are shopping at two or three o'clock in the morning, my time, because they're in another country. I have a lot of uh, people that are active duty or uh, contract work with the military who are overseas who buy houses from me. I have a lot of people in Israel and Japan, even clients from New Caledonia, just east of Australia and uh, in Russia. So I wanna be able to give you all that information <coughs> so you don't have to email me and wait for the slow boat re you know, return of an email for that one piece of information you're looking for. So we try to put it all here on the site. I think that also helps me stand out because a lot of people have secret list of properties, waiting list. They kind of hold the information secret and leak it out to people a little bit at a time because they want to handpick who they're selling the house to for some reason, or um, you know, they want to get you on the phone and sell you. 
well, I don't like to be sold. I don't like somebody that's going to you know, tell me how to invest, what property is best for me, what car is best for me if I'm shopping for a car. I, I go online, I do all my information, I walk in that dealership and I say, I'm here to buy that car. Um, now, I will have further questions and hopefully they can walk me through those and that's the way I see me and my team. You've got a lot of good information here. Of course, there's more information you might want. You might wanna to talk to me, get a good feeling about who this company is before moving forward. That's where this page comes in handy. Contact now, schedule an appointment with me or Stephanie or anybody on the team who meets the right needs for you. Um, we like to do one-on-one -on -one video view interviews, just like this with Zoom. I was using Zoom, you know, a long time before the whole coronavirus thing happened. So um, I was accustomed to it. I love meeting on Zoom. The majority of my clients are not in Memphis, Tennessee. It's my job to act as the boots of the on the ground for you. I use FaceTime a lot when I'm in the field. A lot of you guys have FaceTimed with me. And I, that's one way I can bring you here virtually and um, be your boots on the ground. I've got an entire page dedicated towards videos. Over and over again, my best clients say, James, keep making videos. As you can see, I don't have a studio. I don't have lighting. Don't have a makeup person that can make me look pretty. Here I am on a Sunday wearing a t-shirt making a video and I hope it brings content for you. So I'm gonna to continue to publish. This is my commitment to you. I'm gonna to continue to publish videos you guys are asking for. Um, events, so every year we have several events. We're gonna start doing more of them online, but this October 2nd and 3rd, 2020, we will be having a live event. We have several of you guys already signed up and flights booked, hotels booked. We are excited about seeing you here in person. Of course, we will be practicing all social distancing protocol, whatever that looks like in October. We take it very seriously, but we're thankful for you guys coming to town. So a couple of other little things, you have the ability to create an investor profile. If you want to give us more information about you, what that does is it helps me and my team know how we can best serve you. If you say that I'm looking for A-class properties only um, with this amount of cash flow and so on and so on, then we know how to best serve you. And if you're telling me that you're looking for apartment buildings or land or brand new houses built as rentals, whatever it is you're looking for, it's my job to create the team the processes and systems that are going to serve you best. So it's very valuable data. Yes, I would appreciate if you would fill out an investor profile if you feel comfortable giving me some of that a uh, little bit more personal information. It's a deep dive into who you are as an investor and where you're looking to go. Another chance to schedule a call with us. Of course, some featured properties, uh, a little bit of information. So there, today, single family rental homes in America, in the United States, is a $3 trillion industry. There are 16 million current single family resident homes in the United States, but by 2030, so in nine years, nine and a half years, it's nearly gonna double. Wow, we're adding another 13 million single family homes to the market. So there's 16 million current single family homes, and there's gonna be another 13 million added over the next nine years. And I'll do a whole other video of why. Uh, you know, people always talk about the millennial who would rather rent than buy. That's part of it. This whole COVID thing has changed a lot of people's thinking, working from home. Um, so maybe they have the ability to work from home. They might be more transient in the future where they're moving from city to city. Their uh, company might give them an extra little bit of pay to work from home. Um, Lots of reasons. People that are afraid of the market, just uncertain ups and downs, and people that uh, have horrible credit and large amounts of debt. As you guys know, I, I follow some very basic principles. I like being debt free other than smart debt, which is real estate, my personal residence, which will be paid off one day soon, and uh, rental homes and my business. That's the only debt that I believe in. I don't do credit cards and um, you know, financing vacations, things like that don't exist in my mind, but Dave Ramsey does not say the problem is getting any better. Kids are coming out of college with hundreds of thousands of dollars of student loan debt, some who are going into, you know, being a teacher, and, you know, that's just not a way to pay that debt off, and others that are coming in uh, out of all that debt to be an um, orthodontist. I saw one of his episodes recently, and the guy had a million dollars of uh, debt between his credit cards and his school loan. Now he's an orthodontist. Thank God he's making some decent money, but still think about that mountain to overcome. 
people just not living in that uh, grandpa's way of thinking, Dave Ramsey's way of thinking. That's my big reason of why I believe that this, is, this industry is gonna double in the next nine years. So a quick little blurb about our story. I'll show you where there's more information about that. Of course, information about our in-house property management company, a couple of articles I was uh, honored enough to be uh, featured in and a little blurbs in. So that's the homepage. Um, if you click on the button that says buy or go to properties, you're gonna come to what you're very used to seeing, uh, a page of homes that are all available. These are not homes that are reserved. These are not homes that are maybe <coughs> available right now, but actual, actual houses you can buy. I strive to have 15 to 20 homes for you guys at all times. Recently, I was on the phone with one of my investors, didn't have what he was looking for, so I reached in, in deep and pulled out two houses that I was gonna do something else with, sold him one of them, and I've placed another one on the site, 7065 Stanley Drive in Olive Branch, Mississippi, which is the house we're looking at today. This is a four bedroom, two bath, 2,800 square foot, right there on the uh, main page. I try to give you enough information now to see if it's a house you wanna take a deep dive into so it's not overloading you guys with information. So then I, as an investor, I'd wanna say, okay, well, what is the rent? What is the sales price? What is the cash on cash return? What does my monthly cash flow look like? Based on that, this is one I would wanna consider. So I would click that says view listing. You click on the button that says view listing and it's gonna take you to this page. This page is a little bit more of a deep dive. And by the way, this is the part where you can say add to cart. So if we added that to the cart, it's now in my cart. And if that's the one property I was purchasing, I'd, I'd click check out, or I'd go back to shopping. And one way to do that is back down here at the bottom where it says back to available properties. But let's keep diving into this house. Of course, you've got more pictures on a carousel that you can check out. And we'll look at even more pictures in just a moment. But as you can see, this is a class A property, A plus. I'll put this one, A plus, amazing schools, very little crime at all. Every, every, every place has got some crime, but zero to speak of here. Um, great cash flow, 9% cash on cash return. So it's got the address, a, a short little paragraph about the property, a map. So this is one thing you guys asked for. So here it is, here's your map, and you can blow it up and see um, the area around there. You can drop the little, uh, little guy and see the street view from this map without leaving the website. So we'll get out of there. Over uh, the top of that, I wanted to be able to click on and see the crime map. So this is something that very few people in my industry are gonna talk to you about. It's what I would wanna see as an investor living 2,000 miles away. So this um, crime map, the chart goes from light blue to dark blue. If it's, you see it's in a light blue area like this, that means relatively little to no crime. So that's real simple, we X out of there. So all staying on the same page. You've got a map of the property that you can zoom in and out on. You can uh, click the button in the top right corner to get the whole thing. You can get the satellite view right here, staying in, within the web page. You can get the crime map, I think that's pretty cool. And then a little bit more data. So occupancy rate, this property is tenanted. So what does that mean to everybody watching the video? Instant cash flow. This property already has a tenant in place. I'll pause from talking about the website, talk about this house for just a second. I put a two year tenant in, paying $1,900 a month, full security deposit in place. And why is that important? Because we want long-term tenants who are gonna take care of our properties. Now these people could go out and buy a house. They were moved here for a job. She stays at home with the kids. Um, we're looking for a, a specific area for you know the schools and different reasons for that. Um, this house came up, I had 25 phone calls the first day. I don't even know how many people applied for this house. But these people were highly qualified, absolutely one of the best renters I've ever put into a house, paying $1,900 a month. That's the one who's gonna stay long over. First of all, they signed a two year lease. The likelihood of them renewing that lease is pretty good based on the conversation I had with them. But these one-year leases, people have to get out of the habit of always doing a one-year lease. Now, one-year leases are quite common in the C-class and B-minus areas. I will say that. Uh, so type of residence, bedroom, bathroom, square footage, year built, monthly rent, cash flow, ca uh, 
cash on cash return, your five year projection, all those numbers are here. And then to help you out over here on the right, we've got all the different terms that you might run across on the site. If you hover over the little information icon, it'll pop up a different definition of capitalization rate, rent rate, total, total return. All of these will have a little definition for you. So if you're newer to investing or heck, if you're seasoned, you're always like, well, what's James's exact definition of a cap rate? Here you go, just read the paragraph. And then, you know, just like we've always had, you click on this button that says due diligence vault, and it's gonna give you the deep dive. So this is the folder that, uh, on Google, it's called the G Suite, where I uh, house all the information that if I'm buying the property myself, I still build this vault, I call it. If we're selling a property to one of my investors, we make it available to you because it's the information I would want to see to know if this property fit the uh, demands I have for buying rental properties. In here, you're gonna have lots of photos. You're gonna have comparable sales, a crime map, pro forma, giving you those numbers like cash on cash return, a sample contract of what it looks like to buy a house with us, even rent comps from a company called Rento Meter, which we have a pro subscription to, so we're giving you their information. Let's check out this house. So 2,800 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath. I think I said two bath on the website. I'll have that corrected. Two and a half bath on an acre of land in Olive Branch, Mississippi with A plus schools, low crime, able to attract that great tenant. But let's check out the house itself. So mostly brick, the rest is vinyl siding, brand new 30 year architectural shingle roof. Of course, a lot of landscape and it doesn't didn't look like this before we got a hold of it. Um, nice, beautiful backyard with green, pretty grass that we planted. There was a pool here and I pushed it into the backyard, covered it with dirt, and now uh, planted grass. And now it's just a gorgeous little oasis off the deck for the, this, this couple. They said this is what really attracted us to this house. So we did our gray and white colors like we've done on most of our houses for retail and for rental. As you come in the front door, we did a decorative six light front door and all new light fixtures, smoke detectors. I mean, everything in this house is new from every bit of flooring was either ref, uh, refinished hardwood or new tile or uh, you know, brand new floors throughout. We uh, made this cute little washer dryer room. The kitchen got granite countertops, stainless steel, deep sink with a gooseneck faucet. Uh, new dishwasher, new microwave, the double ovens and the cooktop were installed a few years before I purchased the house. Check out those tile floors, that looks really good. Painted the cabinets white, gray walls, white trim, huge dining slash living area up front. There's a second shot of that. Completely gutted the bathrooms, there's nothing original in there, even the sheetrock is new. And then subway tile shower surrounds uh, around this steel tub. Three bedrooms, big enough, each of them big enough for a king size bed. And this is the master shower with the uh, subway tile. We even threw a seat in there. Some uh, stainless steel framing around the glass. Um, you could have put a shower curtain up here, but that just gives it an extra little pop. Nice, beautiful deck on the back of the home, looking out into the backyard. Big two-car garage on this house. So this is the little house in Olive Branch, Mississippi on Stanley Drive. 9% um, cash on cash return, executive level rental for sure. Now, a lot of people are watching this video like, why would I buy a $220,000 rental property? Well, it's a specific investor who's looking for a very passive income. And my quick story on this is I love executive level renter, renters because in the rare occasion that you had to evict someone from an executive level rental, in the rare occasion that they tore the house up, now we're going to court, we're in front of a judge, you're gonna win that case every time because you're taking pictures like the, you're taking these pictures to the court with you and then you're taking after photos of how they didn't pay, uh, take care of the house, they, they tore your home up. You're gonna win the case. 99% uh, chance you're going to win that case when the judge sees that. But here's the big one. You're going to be able to collect something because someone that I would let rent a, rent a masterpiece like this has going to have something to lose. They're going to have savings in the bank. They're going to have good credit. They're going to have a great job that we could garnish wages from and on and on and on. If you are renting a house to someone for $500 a month and they tear that house up, you have to go through an eviction. We can sue them. We will win. 
what are you going to collect? So that's who buys this house. Someone who's looking to attract the type of tenant who's going to stay longer, uh, take care of the place, and less headaches. Very passive. So this is a very passive investment. Of course, it's a lower return. It's 9% uh, return on investment. When I've got properties on my 15, uh, uh, website with 15% cash on cash return, I've never had to evict someone out of a house like this, right? So I have in the C-class properties. I have for sure in the D-class properties for $500 a month. So enough about that, but that's who buys a house like this. So the, the crime map, uh, we've already seen that, is in here again. Your rental meter PDF where it shows top uh, of the market rent for this area was $18.99. And I think my property, um, and it, gives you, it shows you a map where these comparable rents come from. And then it lists out their addresses, bedroom, bathroom count, all that information. I felt like my property was top of the mark in this area. So I asked $1,900 a month and got it. No questions asked. Um, Foundation property management. So what is foundation property management? It's my, my property management company headed up by my partner and, and uh, principal broker, Dawn Kennard. Um, I started this company with one thing in mind, to manage my investors who are now my friends. You know, I know you guys on a first name basis and then some. I've vacationed with some of your families and my family. I've stayed at your houses when I travel. Um, you guys have become family to me. This is the reason I started foundation property management. Number one, to manage my properties, right? The ones I own, the ones I hold as rentals, because I couldn't find anybody else in Memphis that would do the way I would do it. And then to manage your properties as if I owned them myself. So in every decision made when it comes to your rental properties, who to place as a tenant, um, what repairs to make or not to make, and who to charge for those um, repairs. So if you're buying you know, um, a house from me and then a month later we get a, a service call from the, from the resident and the toilet's not working, we go out there and we see there's a GI Joe that's been flushed down the toilet and that's why it's not working. Who's gonna pay for that? I'm not paying for it. It wasn't my GI Joe. Um, you're not paying for it. The tenant's gonna pay for it. So we're gonna add that to the next month's rent and we'll even separate it out over three or four months rent if it's too much for them to bear. We don't wanna lose a tenant, but we do wanna set a precedent that you have to take care of this property. You're not staying at the local Hilton. You're not staying at the Hampton Inn. And this isn't an apartment either. This is a home that you've rented. Um, so we're looking for residents who, who understand that, who qualify for this type of property based on their history, and that are gonna you know, walk within our standards, which are just take care of the property. Live up to what you told us you would do. If you sign a two year lease, I expect two years out of you. And if you tear the property up, you're gonna pay for it. So I hope this was uh, helpful. If you see anything on the website that you would like to be added, or if it's just too much information, please reach out to me and let me know. I love your input. Um, it is a little bit slower than I want it to be. And we're talking to two different server companies to, I want it to be the fastest website in the industry uh, before long. These things just take time. We've put a lot of hard work into this. I've told my company, look, everything that happens here, every decision we make, it should be reflected on the website so that someone could go on there, take you know, a lot of time to watch all the videos, read everything we've put on there and know a lot about us. And then that is uh, just backed up by the words that come out of our mouth, the actions that we take out in the field when we're buying houses, renovating houses, managing the property for you, because we are your boots on the ground. We are the only uh, link that some people have to Memphis, Tennessee. So I, I'll take that as a very uh, serious commitment to you guys. And I hope that I'll, um, everything you need is being taken care of. If it's not, you reach out to me personally. There's an opportunity to schedule a call with me. My phone number is 901-650-1061. That is my personal cell phone number. You can call me, text me if I don't answer. I might be changing a, a diaper. I've got two young ones. Um, reach out to us and let us know how we can be a catalyst to help you achieve your real estate investment goals in Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks.